we are going to discuss from this session is uh, hierarchical data. What are hierarchies? Hierarchies, as the name suggests, is uh, is a way of storing data in 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 a table where you have parent and child relationship between the columns in the dimension in the dimension table. So, if you have uh, the example you see. Uh, in this slide is uh, the date dimension where you are you have three columns year quarter and month like I said before uh, in a date dimension you will have the, like I explained before in uh, in case of date dimension so you have three different columns year quarter and month in this case year quarter and month are has a parent child relationship between them so year if you add three months of a year together it gives you a quarter and if you add all the four quarters together it gives you a year so in this case you can see that there is a parent child relationship which is flowing into different columns from year to quarter and from quarter to month so if you so like i said if you aggregate the values measures for a if you aggregate uh, the values for a month and you can for 3 months you can form a quarter the data values in a quarter you can aggregate to form values for a whole year so here so in this case the year is the parent of quarter and the quarter is the parent of month so that this, this kind of data storage where you have relationship, parent-child relationship among the columns in a dimension table is called as hierarchies. So, so what are the different types of hierarchies you can have? Uh, you can, what are the different kinds of hierarchies in which uh, you can store the data in, in a particular dimension? As you see in this uh, slide, there are three different pictures. By looking at the uh, diagrams, you it's very self-explanatory, and the name also name of these different hierarchies are very very self-explanatory. Like balanced hierarchy, in that case, all the wings, parents, childs are balanced. The number of child a particular parent has in the same level is equal in the balanced hierarchy. So, you see there is uh, in the balanced hierarchy diagram, you see there is one parent in the beginning and then there are two childs and each child uh, has two uh, other childs in the next level. So, every parent has two child from top to bottom. So, in this kind of hierarchy is called balanced hierarchy. In an unbalanced hierarchy, on the other hand, you see there are not all the parents have same number of child. So the in this diagram, the blue colored parent on the second level doesn't have any child. So these kind of hierarchies where the number of child for each parent in in a particular hierarchy distribution is not balanced across different levels. And in a so another type of uh, hierarchy is a, is called ragged hierarchy, which means in this case uh, the parent-child relationship skips a level. So you see uh, the diagram. You see that there is a child in the lowest level, which is directly related to the parent of the second level. So in this case, the child which is uh, in the last level which is the exception child it is it doesn't have any second level it directly relates to the first level so it is skipping a hierarchy in these kind of uh, uh, these kind of hierarchies where the child skips a level of relationship with the parent is called ragged hierarchies so let's uh, look at them in detail so as i said in a balanced hierarchy each 
every member descends to same level and each member's parent is the level above it. So there is no skipping and every member descends to the same level. So that means there is no skipping, skipping of the hierarchy and each parent has same number of childs in the same level. That's called balanced hierarchy. So the example which you see in this uh, slide is uh, the dimension, time dimension table which we discussed. There is a year which has four different quarters and each quarter has three months. So this is a very balanced hierarchy where each parent has a same number of childs in each level and also does not skip any hierarchical level. So from for going to go from month 8 to a year, you have to go through a quarter level which is Q3. For, similarly for going from M, M1, the month 1 to year, you have to go through a quarter level which is Q1. So that kind of hierarchy is called a balanced hierarchy. The next type of hierarchy we discussed uh, was the unbalanced hierarchy. So the example which you see here is a product dimension. The product dimension, there are three different types of products. So the product dimension has columns like product, uh, the levels is, uh, the product dimension has three uh, different types of products which is uh, which comes under electronics apparel and footwear each parent has child but not same number of childs so you see electronics there are two different type of electronics television and air conditioner but apparel apparel has also two different types of products which is uh, shirts and trousers but footwear is only one shoe there's no other uh, child so in this case, the footwear, the type of product type footwear doesn't have same number of child as that of apparel and electronics. So this uh, kind of, there is a, un the, the distribution of the level of hierarchy and the distribution of number of types, the number of childs below a certain level is not uniform. So, uh, so this kind of hierarchy is unbalanced hierarchy. The next type which we discussed was ragged hierarchy in which the level is being skipped by a child. So in this case the shoe, the same example, the product has two different types of uh, ranges of product which is electronic products uh, and apparels. But there is another type called shoe which doesn't have any product type. It directly goes, uh, it skips a level, the product type level and goes directly to the uh, top level which is the product level. So, so here there is, a, there is a level skipped by the child. This kind of hierarchy is called ragged hierarchies. So these are few examples. Uh, of the type of hierarchies. Yeah, I think we can move on to the data warehouse architecture. So the colorful diagram you see here is actually showing the flow of data from, uh, from the bottom most level which is our OLTP systems. There are the three different tiers you see here is the bottom tier the middle tier and the top tier. So we will be going through these different tiers separately. This this overall picture is, is the data warehouse architecture. So the data flows from the OLTP systems, data is cleaned, uh, cleansed and then loaded into the data warehouse which is the bottom tier and then it goes to the OLAP servers which is our reporting layer where you design the universe on top of your data warehouse, universe or cubes on top of your data uh, data warehouse and then finally there is the top tier which is the front end tool which uh, 
the users will access to see the statistical graphs, reports, and tables. That is the topmost tier. Uh, now we will discuss these different tiers in detail. First one is the bottom tier. Uh, let's discuss the example which they are showing here before we move on to the bottom tier. So in this case they are just showing that the bottom tier has the facts and the dimension tables which we just discussed about. So the bottom tier is our physical data warehouse tier where we create our facts and, facts and dimension tables. The example they are showing here is the <coughs> uh, hospital example which we, uh, which we discussed previously the patient, doctor and the treatment. So in this case the patient dimension, doctor dimension and the treatment dimension which are shown in this uh, bottom tier. So this is what we have discussed till now, the dimensions and the facts. Uh, all we discuss uh, now is, is about this layer. We will be discussing further about uh, the middle layer and the top layer. Uh, briefly in this session before we, we move on to the session 3. So the first we look into the bottom tier which, uh, which is the data warehouse, data marts, metadata monitoring and administration. So what the layer which we talk about uh, the bottom tier is all the facts and the dimension tables which we created which forms a data warehouse or your uh, data maths which, which is also a combination of tables and the monitoring system which uh, monitors all your data warehouse and uh, your metadata which controls your data warehouse. So we discussed met metadata in the previous session. Metadata is uh, uh, data about data. So we will discuss further I think uh, in forthcoming sessions about what exactly is metadata and so what I mean to say is this bottom layer is just a physical layer where you load your data after extracting from OLTP systems and then create your data model and load the data inside the data warehouse. So this layer stores your physical uh, relation between different tables and uh, and the actual data which will further be used in your OLAP and OLAP applications. So what I, uh, so what, so let's see what does the presentation say. This tier constitutes data warehouse, data maths, metadata, monitoring and the monitoring and administrating systems which monitors these, this data warehouse. The tier is this here is a warehouse database server that is almost always a relational database system. Okay, so most till now the data warehouses we have seen is all relational tables. So that is the base uh, of all the most of the um, most of the systems we have seen. There there could be files files. There are places where they can't afford to buy, a, there are few businesses where they can't afford to have a physical data base to store all the data so they store it in flat files and stuff but it's just a workaround but generally, in general we always have a relational database which forms our data warehouse layer, bottom layer. Data is fed into these systems from OLTP systems, operational databases and we use ETL tools to extract the data from these uh, OLDP systems, summarize them or clean them and then put it into the data warehouse. So that is our bottom tier. The middle tier is uh, actually, we haven't discussed much, uh, much about the middle tier uh, in, in our session but uh, we will just look into it briefly. The middle tier is the, is the reporting server layer which is OLAP layer. OLAP is online uh, analytical processing layer. So OLAP servers are the reporting servers like the tool we, uh, we just talked about, uh, the business object tool or uh, Cognos or any other reporting layer is the middle layer where you form your universe or your cubes is the, uh, is the OLAP layer where you, uh, yeah. 
So there are two different kinds of uh, OLAPs. Uh, one is ROLAP, which is the relational OLAP. Another one is the multidimensional OLAP. So, so relational OLAP is the is the layer where you store data in general RDMA, RDMA a relational database format where you have tables and then you have relations between those tables like uh, we will discuss further about these relational tables later like star schema and we will discuss about this later I don't want to introduce uh, jargons now so relational OLAP is just combination of related tables which will help uh, which helps us uh, generate reports and um, Multi-dimensional OLAP is a proprietary tool with for uh, in which you can actually create multi uh, multi-dimensional data storage. So what I mean by that is, uh, imagine it. For example, imagine a cube. Cube has uh, different dimensions, right? The cube has different sides. So consider each side as one dimension like in the example in the slide you see there right there is a cube which has a, if you see the front face you see nine nine cubes and the top face has nine cubes consider each cube as a information summarized across each dimension so a cube actually is a multi-dimensional data storage which stores pre-summarized data in different dimensions. So for example, say you have a, you have a reporting requirement to add a number of products by date, which is one of your dimension, by product and by customer. So there are three dimensions, right? So a cube, one cube from the bigger cube will store data summarized for across all these three dimensions. So the one cube will have data summarized by customer, by product and uh, by any other dimension you want, by date, by year or whatever. So it will summarize and keep the data inside that cube. So each cube will have data summarized across all these three dimensions. So this cube is a physical database structure which stores data summarized in all these three dimensions. So this is this is a multi-dimensional way of storing data. That's why it's called a multi-dimensional OLAP. And relational OLAP is a two-dimensional, like relate not two-dimensional. It is uh, physical relate, relate physically related tables which are just related by keys. So it's just like our RDBMS. So that is our middle layer where you have uh, where the data is fed from the bottom layer which is our data warehouse and then it pushes the data to our reporting layer where we design the OLAP or MOLAP based on our business reporting needs. The next and the last tier is the top tier which is the presentation layer where you see the front end, front end of the tool where you see the graphs which are being generated based on the based on your OLAP or MOLAP so based on your cubes or the uh, relational OLAP you created it actually uh, generates the visual presentation of the reports like graphs or or any kind of queries or analysis or whatever you want so this this is the actual layer which is available to the users for viewing. So like in case of Geo and Crystal Reports, you have uh, the Webby tool where you can see the graphs. So that is the presentation layer which is available for the decision makers or whoever is uh, the consumer of that report. So I, that is the topmost layer. I think that is it about the session.